Hello, you beautiful legends, and welcome to Blood Force Healing Podcast. This is episode 397. So we are three days away, roughly, from a magic milestone of 400 days. This will end season two of the podcast, and it will begin probably the shorter season three which I plan to limit to 100 episodes and continue like that in the future so 397 days means that this project this journal is continuing without any drop or slippage for 397 days straight. Consider it a streak. There was no single day that I didn't write the blog post and recorded audio or video update like this one that you're watching or listening to. It was an interesting journey to be honest because I wasn't expecting I would be able to maintain it without you know skipping a bit uh, maybe one day or two in the middle but fortunately through perseverance I was able to continue it and even in the very difficult and challenging situations where I was either away for the whole day in Dublin or at work and also these days where I was traveling uh, I remember this this year in January I had a very challenging situation where I needed to facilitate writing the blog post and recording the podcast episode update when I was flying to Poland and spending a lot of time not only traveling, but in a very tight conditions and where it was difficult to me to find time to do it. And it wasn't the problem to record it like I do now over the phone, but you know, it's not the recording bit that is the most difficult. The difficult bit is to you know, have it transferred to the laptop and uploading it to relevant platforms, uh, you know, adding metadata and publishing it. I made it a bit more efficient um, recently, uh, obviously, over time, but it wasn't as easy at different stages of this project. So, if you ever plan on starting blogging or podcasting, I decided to do both at the same time. I was able to maintain it for over a year, almost 400 days now, and it's a very, not only interesting from the perspective of just doing it, it, you're evolving as you write because you take care more about what you write and how you write it so as with everything the practice makes you a better writer i hope Uh, i think i'm more cohesive in in what i write and it's it's still uh, it, it still has a lot of room for improvement but as i look back into the blog post that i've written before, especially in early stages, and now the improvement is quite, quite huge. Of course, uh, not only that improved, the way that I structure the posts, the different themes of the of the blog itself made a huge difference because it's now clearer to read. It's, it's neater, it's more minimalistic, so there's no 
unnecessary stuff around that would distract the reader. But it all came with the practice, you know, with testing and just doing it. It was cringe at first and some of the posts are probably even cringe now, but as I say, it's more structured, it's cleaner now, and it wasn't like that for the whole, you know, from the very start. If you look into the blog, you will see that the first seven to probably 20 or 50 blog posts were very simple and really cringy entries just for the sake of writing the blog. They had no super sense. And even now, they are, all these posts and the video updates are nothing like a science sessions or anything that will bring massive value to you as a, as a watcher or reader. Because it's a journal. I am updating every single day on what is happening here in Ireland, in my life in particular, uh, for the most part, but also I share my views on things, I share sometimes even recipes about things that I discover, or thoughts about specific events. Recently I do a lot of, um, I would say, education about foraging and the benefits uh, that we can get from mushrooms because it's one of those areas that I really am fascinated with, fascinated with. So there are a lot of different areas that I share content about with you guys and some people like it because it seems like I have some followers and some regular watchers or readers. But in general, it's not one of those, you know, viral channels that you would expect. It's just a journal. Not everyone wants to, well, almost no one wants to listen about somebody else's life, unless it's a nicely screen written reality show or something fancy on Netflix, I guess. So I appreciate every single person that watches or reads my content. And with that too long introduction of almost eight minutes, I would like to share with you the update of today, which is another Friday in Ireland that is pretty much quite gloomy, albeit it's clearing up a bit, so the weather after the storm Babbitt is clearing a bit, it's getting slightly better. The temperature risen slightly and although we had drizzle this morning or pretty much first half of the day it seems to be dry for now and maybe for the rest of the day tomorrow and the day after we expect to have some sun and the nice weather so that's that's good news but in general this year was very rainy and very wet for ireland uh, i am just about to pick julian from school and today was a fairly easy day, easy going day at work. So because I have the rest of the afternoon free, my wife is doing dinner today, not me. I did yesterday. So I hope to get out and try and find some new mushrooms, especially that I can see the shift between the different species that stopped appearing and the new one started. So it's definitely that phase where different mushrooms are coming out. They have different nutritional benefits, different medicinal benefits. Uh, they are always good source of carbs and uh, protein. So they are always nice macro um, supplement to your diet without you know spending 
money on stuff. So if you learn how to forage for mushrooms and plants, you can add a decent supply of organic stuff to your diet and your life and improve your life significantly. Not only you're learning something new and cool, but also you can pretty much learn how to survive without, you know, supermarkets and shops in, in your life if the times get tough. And those sources will always be better than anything that you buy, processed food or any supplements that you get. Nature provides everything we need. We just need to know how to collect it and consume it. So that's it for today in terms of the updates so far. I need to go and pick Julian. The rest of the updates for today, if anything happens, and usually something uh, happens that I can add, it will be in the blog. Blog is the best place to consume the content from this project. So if you are interested, head on to www.bluntforcehealing.com or bluntforcehealing.wordpress.com. Both addresses lead to the same blog. It's a central point that combines this update, video or audio, into the blog posts so you can consume it in one single place where they complement each other. So I hope to see you there. Bookmark that address, www.bluntforcehealing.com. Stay tuned for the next update, which will happen tomorrow. See you and have a great rest of the day, afternoon or evening, wherever you are.